Hello everyone. My previous weapon video has been getting really popular recently and a tutorial for it has been really well requested. So let's get started. So to start things off, you first need to figure out where your target is. For me, I'm going to be targeting this little house behind me. Next up is to find the coordinates of your target. I'm going to be hitting exactly 96, 72, 479. Next you need to figure out the exact horizontal distance you'll be launching your missile from. The way you do that is start with 320, which is the current 1.18 height limit, subtract 7, which is the height of the flying machine, and then subtract the Y level of the target that you'll be hitting. The target that I'm going to be hitting is at level 72, meaning I start with 320, subtract 7, and then subtract 72, and find that I need to put my missile 241 blocks away. Once you've calculated the horizontal distance your missile will need to travel, you will then go that many blocks away and mark the exact location. Then you're going to build up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks. On top of that tower, you're going to place an observer facing towards your target. You can see my target is over there, and my observer is looking at it. You're then going to break the temporary tower, and put a slime block on the back of the observer. Then go ahead and get a sticky piston facing away from your target, and place it on top of the slime block. On the side of the slime block, you're going to place a sticky piston that's facing upwards like this. And then next to it, you're going to place a sticky piston that's facing the observers. Next, you're going to place a honey block on top of the upward facing piston, and then two in this direction, one in this direction, and two up. Next up, take an observer, and go ahead and place it facing the sky, like this. Next, you're going to take another observer, and go ahead and put it on this block, facing away from this piston. It should now look a bit like this. You're also going to need a second observer right here that's also facing your target. Next, go ahead and head to the bottom of the flying machine. It should look a little bit like this. Place a slime block here, and also right here, and then an observer facing this way, right here, and then a piece of TNT right here, and a sticky piston right here, facing downwards. On the bottom of this honey block, go ahead and place in another piece of TNT, and then take some slime blocks and build them three in this direction. On the bottom of this slime block, place an upwards facing sticky piston. That's also going to have an observer facing this way into the piston like this. Then on the side of those, place two honey blocks, and then a sticky piston facing downwards onto the honey blocks. That's also going to have an observer facing into it like this. From the bottom of this honey block, build two downwards, two forwards, and then two to the side like this. On the side of this honey block, you're going to place an ordinary piston, and then an observer facing this way on top of it. Get two unmovable blocks, I recommend using furnaces, and place one right here on top of these honey blocks, and right here. These are only temporary and they'll be removed later. In front of this observer right here, you're now going to place in a dropper. Right next to it, also place in another dropper. It doesn't matter which direction they're facing. After that, get an observer and place it right here so that it's running into these droppers. Place an ordinary piston in front of this observer, and that's going to be facing upwards. Add an observer on the bottom of that piston that's facing the ground. On the face of that observer, you're going to build two blocks, and then break this one, and then you'll build one, two, three in this direction, and then put redstone all across those blocks. Build an extra block out in this direction, and place a repeater facing this way, running into an upwards facing ordinary piston. Then place one, two, blocks on top of it. We're almost done, it's just time to add in the TNT minecarts now. Go ahead and break the furnaces, and then place in a block right here on top of the honey, and put a rail on top of that. And then you're going to put as many TNT minecarts as you want, I suggest at least 10, and then break the block below it, and the TNT minecarts should fall into the honey like this. You're now ready to launch this thing off. Go ahead and place a button or lever or whatever right here, and press it. Off it goes. It's going to take around a minute for it to reach build height, and then it will start its diagonal descent downwards. The machine takes a couple of minutes to get to the ground, so go ahead and find yourself a nice vantage point to enjoy the fireworks. If you guys come across any issues building this for yourself, go ahead and let me know either with a comment or on my Discord. That's all for this tutorial, and for now, goodbye.